see your Apple change the back of the iPhone, from aluminum on the iPhone 7 to glass on the new iPhone 8 to make way for wireless charging. And this is not just any glass. And the glass is further reinforced by an internal laser-welded steel and copper structure. We're so excited because this glass is the most durable ever in a smartphone. But it's still glass, and we've all seen what happens to phones with glass backs. So exactly how strong is the glass on Apple's new iPhone 8? We're going to find out. The fumble and drop out of the pocket is probably the most common way to break your phone. So we're starting our tests at about pocket height. Since it landed screen side down, I can already tell you the back survived, which is what I was actually trying to break. But let's take a look at the front. Oh, the front is good too. But now that I'm looking at it closely, you can start to notice some damage. There is a tiny fracture up here on the top. There's a small dent where it hit. And then on the bottom, you can definitely notice a crack. Again, it's on the side, so it's not too noticeable. And then the aluminum frame has a dent here on the corner, probably where it hit first. Now, this probably would have happened on the aluminum phone, but the cracks on the back definitely would not have happened. So the back is not completely cracked yet, and the front survived, so we're gonna continue on with our next test. This type of accident also tends to happen at around eye level as you're taking a picture, so we're setting our next test at about this height. No, oh, I can already see what happened. Oh no. Yep, it is destroyed. The screen completely shattered. I can just, I can tell you that much. Um, Obviously it still works, but you wouldn't want to swipe your fingers on this screen right now. There's spider webs on the top, there's the crack goes all the way to the bottom, and uh, but the back didn't sustain any more damage than it already had. Obviously the front is pretty messed up, but there's still more surface to break. So for our next test, we opened it up to you guys to see what crazy ways you had broken your phone. And we chose this one slipped out of my pocket as a carnival ride shot me upside down 50 feet high. Still plays out in slow-mo in my head as it smashes on the ground. So we obviously don't have a carnival ride here at CNET, but we do have a fourth floor. Welcome to the fourth floor of CNET. We're gonna try to have this land with the back facing down, but it's gonna be really hard to control. So here goes, three, two, one. See what damage we made. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Okay. This phone is completely useless. Wow, okay, I'm so sorry, iPhone. Completely shattered on the back, on the front, but that was a pretty heavy fall. So yeah, even the camera's broken. Everything on this iPhone is completely destroyed. It is coming apart in my hands, but yet the screen is still sort of on. You can see, you can see it light up in the back, but other than that, it's completely falling apart. And, uh, did not survive our torture test today. Obviously this last test goes well beyond the normal wear and tear of any phone and basically it was just for fun. None of these tests are scientific, but they do prove that this is not an unbreakable phone. So put a case on it and please do not drop it from that high or just don't drop it at all. Now, is this the strongest glass ever made on any phone? I'm not so sure. <laughs>